Indian Kitapara Thalassae What are its benefits? Terminalia Kitapa is a large tropical tree in the leadwood tree family, Combritaceae, that grows mainly in the tropical regions of Asia, Africa, and Australia. It is known by the English common names country almond, Indian almond, Malabar almond, sea almond, tropical almond and thalassae in Philippines. The tree grows to 35 meters, 115 feet tall, with an upright, symmetrical crown and horizontal branches. Terminalia catapa has corky, light fruit that are dispersed by water. The seed within the fruit is edible when fully ripe, tasting almost like almond. As the tree gets older, its crown becomes more flat and to form a spreading, vase shape. Its branches are distinctively arranged in tiers. The leaves are large 15 to 25 centimeters, 5.9 to 9.8 in long and 10 to 14 centimeters, 3.9 to 5.5 in broad. They are dry season deciduous before falling they turn pinkish reddish yellow brown due to pigments such as violaxanthin, lutein and zeaxanthin. The trees are monoecious with distinct male and female flowers on the same tree. Both are 1 cm 0.39 in, in diameter, white to greenish thin conspicuously with no petals, they are produced on axillary terminal spikes. The fruit is a droop 5 to 7 cm, 2.0 to 2.8 in long and 3 to 5.5 cm, 1.2 to 2.2 in broad, green at first then yellow and finally red when ripe, containing a single. The species epithet is based on the Malay name Ketapang, habitat and range. The tree has been spread widely by humans, so the native range is uncertain. It has long been naturalized in a broad belt extending from Africa to northern Australia and New Guinea through Southeast Asia and Micronesia into the Indian subcontinent. More recently, the plant has been introduced to parts of the Americas. Until the mid-20th century, the tree had been used extensively in Brazilian urban landscaping, since being a rare case tropical deciduous. The fallen leaves would give a European flair to the street. This practice is currently abolished and the Amendo eras are being replaced by native evergreen trees. Cultivation and uses. Talisay fruits at various stages of ripeness, one cut open to reveal the edible kernel within the hard endocarp. And another partially open to reveal the fleshy mesocarp surrounding the fibrous inner layers. Talisse is widely grown in tropical regions of the world as an ornamental tree, grown for the deep shade its large leaves provide. The fruit is edible, tasting slightly acidic. The wood is red and solid, and has high water resistance, it has been used in Polynesia for making canoes. In Tamil, almond is known as Natavadumai. The leaves contain several flavonoids, such as kempferol aquercetin, several tannins, such as puniculin, punicolic and aturcatin, saponins and phytosterols. Due to this chemical richness, the leaves and the bark are used in different herbal medicines for various purposes. For instance in Taiwan, fallen leaves are used as an herb to treat liver diseases. In Suriname, an herbal tea made from the leaves has been prescribed against dysentery and diarrhea. The leaves may contain agents for prevention of cancers although they have no demonstrated anti-carcinogenic properties and antioxidants as well as anti-clastogenic characteristics. Extracts of Thalassae leaves have shown activity against Plasmodium falciparum chloroquine, CQ resistant FCV1, and CQ sensitive HV3 strains. Keeping the leaves in an aquarium may lower the pH and heavy metal content of the water. It has been used in this way by fish breeders for many years and is active against some parasites and bacterial pathogens. It is also believed to help prevent fungus forming on the eggs of the fish. Thanks for watching. Please check our description below for more information about the health benefits of Thalassae tree. Please click like and subscribe to our channel. Click the red button below to subscribe. Thank you.